This tutorial covers how to export and import a Blackboard Ultra course. To begin with, we are going to export a course and then we will import the course um, into a different course. So let us begin by going to the three dots across from co course content. You see them here and you select them and from there you see export course package all right you will select this from the following menu you will see course export packages you'll see manual and automatic you will also see an information thing that says packages created by administrators or instructors are automatically deleted after 30 days. Please keep in mind that these packages do not include any archived courses at AUM, so any particular previous courses that you have taught, it does not have to do with any of those courses. What the packages that are deleted have to do with is this automatic folder. Any type of course package that you create goes into this automatic folder. If you do not download these or download the manual export package uh, that you are about to create in this tutorial, it will delete after 30 days. But normally you do not have to worry about this because the packages that you are exporting you always will end up downloading a copy to your computer, so there is no need to worry about that. So continuing on, let us look at course export packages. And here we see this box with an arrow. We will select it and it says include student activity in your export. Um, if you are just exporting a course to import it into another course, you do not want to include student activity data in the export. Now, if you're doing this particular uh, export for hard drop, then you will want to select yes. For more information on hard drop and exporting a course, uh, please contact your instructional designer. But for this particular tutorial, we are going to select no. As you can see, it is in progress and it will take a few minutes. But once it is done, you can reload your pay and you will note that the manual uh, export file is here. All right. So in order to download this, I just simply click on the zip file and you'll note that it is downloading here. If I select this, I can always show it in the folder. And generally speaking, um, this download should go into your download folder. So I am going to go to the course that I want to import the file. So for course import, here I am in the course that I want to import the file. You'll notice here is course content. I will go to the three dots again. And rather than going to export course package, I am now going to import content, okay? From there, I am going to import course content. So for this one, it is downloads and I click open. It is going to upload this uh, course package that we have exported. We'll show you importing co course content. And from there, you should receive an email saying that the importing has been completed. Once you have received this import, you can this import notice in your email you can reload the content and you will see the course content at the very bottom of your ultra course see here we have uh, the start here we have um, the all the folders that were in the last 
uh, that were in the last course. If you notice here in the bottom right hand corner, there are some items that were not imported. If we want to, we can check to see what, what these non imported items were. So what we can do is click OK. Obviously, we're going to do uh, due diligence and make sure that everything is copied into uh, the course correctly. And, um, and that is how you do course export and import. If you have any questions, please contact your instructional designer.